I'm Staff Sergeant Robert Creech with the 90 Security Forces Squadron, and I work as a Base Defense Operations Center controller as well as a patrolman on FE Warren. So we report in for duty at 0430. Uh, that's when we have our guard mount, our formation. Uh, our flight chiefs will have us fall in. They'll give us all the pass-ons for the day. We do something different every day. So I could be posted at the gate as an entry controller, or I could work as a patrolman on the road, or work for uh, dispatch as a base defense operations center controller. After you get your weapons, uh, then you go out to post. So um, for BDOC, for example, for the base defense operations center, if you're working dispatch, uh, you will report to BDOC, um, you'll do a changeover with your offgoing and uh, make sure everything's accounted for. Then we'll do duress checks with like other agencies. So as a patrolman, uh, after you get your weapons, then you'll go outside and conduct changeover uh, with your prior shift. So day-to-day -day operations as a patrolman, um, essentially we do a little bit of uh, security and law enforcement uh, at the same time. So priority is uh, security and base defense. So we want to make sure that uh, the base is all secure. We do all of our routine like building checks. So a lot of people when they're on patrol, uh, when they're executing like their law enforcement duties, they will, you know, you'll see us up at uh, intersections and we'll be camped out doing what's called traffic selective enforcement. And what we're doing is we're actually at those intersections watching people um, for certain traffic violations. So when we pull people over, uh, the biggest thing is we want to make sure that before we make contact with that person that, you know, this isn't like a wanted felon. If something was to happen, we want to make sure that everyone's tracking like exactly like what vehicle it is, like who's driving it, what happened. If someone has something on their record or if, they're, um, if they have any wants and warrants, then we might have to initiate what we call a high-risk traffic stop. So before making contact with the vehicle, we'll actually have to challenge that individual out of the vehicle. So with their hands up, um, stepping out of the vehicle slowly, coming back towards us, and then we'll put them at a disadvantage so we can detain them and then uh, go from there. You know, security forces, like, we're just here to make sure that, you know, we keep you and your family safe on base, um, making sure all personnel are safe, all resources are safe, and that's priority number one. Um, and unfortunately, I think that a lot of people just see us, you know, pulling people over for, you know, rolling a stop sign or uh, backing up the gates with a uh, stop check and pass. But uh, ultimately, you know, the reason we do the things we do is because of you know safety and security for uh, base personnel uh, first and foremost and then also just uh, to make sure that the, the mission gets accomplished at the end of the day.